Hey YouTube, welcome to the next episode on differentiation. Today we're going to look at increasing and decreasing functions. So let's get right to it. What does it mean for a function to be increasing or decreasing? Now let's look at this picture. Just have a random function. Which parts do you think would be an increasing function where the graph is increasing? And where would it be decreasing? Now intuitively you might say between this point and this point the graph is increasing. It's going upwards. And before this point, you can see it's going downwards. Now, why would we define this as being a decreasing function while we define this section as being an increasing function? Well, let's look further on the right here at another part. The reason we would call it an increasing function over here is because if I pick two points, if I move slightly to the right in the x, then the change in y is positive. Yeah, so it's positive, bigger than zero. So essentially what we're saying is when the gradient is bigger than zero, then we are at the part of the graph where we are increasing in values. Because remember, the gradient measures the change in y over the change in x. So if we can find the regions where the gradients are positive, we have an increasing function. So an increasing function, we would say that the gradient, f dash x or dy by dx is positive. And then a decreasing, we would say that the gradient function has to be less than zero. And it's as simple as that. So essentially what we're going to be dealing with is inequalities here. Okay, here's an example. So f of x is 2x cubed minus kx squared plus 5. Given that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, find the value of the constant k. So there's some factor theorem. We're going to say if x minus 1 is a factor, then x equals 1 is a root. Now what does it mean to be a root? It means if you substitute in 1 into f, we get 0. So let's do that. f of 1 will be 2 times 1 cubed minus k lots of 1 squared plus 5. That equals 0. So we get 2 minus k plus 5 is 0. Move the k over, we get k is 7. Find the set of values of x for which f of x is increasing. So remember, an increasing function is when the gradient function is bigger than 0. So we're going to differentiate. So our function at the moment, if we just write that down with the k subbed in, we have 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5. So we bring down the 3. 2 times 3 is 6. x, knock one off the power, is squared minus 14 x and then the 5 remember 5 is a horizontal line the gradient 0 so constants disappear we're going to make that positive let's divide through by 2 first 3x squared minus 7x is bigger than 0 factorize out the x so we get 3x minus 7 is bigger than 0 now a lot of people here will go straight to the solution but i still recommend we draw a picture the roots there would be x equals 0 or 7 thirds. So we have 0 or 7 thirds. So our graph looks something like this. And now we want to know when is the portion of the graph bigger than 0? So what x values define these highlights? Well, the x values that define those highlights are any x values less than 0 or any x values bigger than 7 thirds. So our solution is x is less than 0 or x is bigger than 7 thirds. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you're new here and you want more maths content, then please consider subscribing. If you're learning something, then hit that like button and comment down below to let me know what you want to learn next. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Next question. f of x is 4x plus 9 over x. Find the set of values of x for which f of x is decreasing. So decreasing means the gradient function here is now less than 0. Now to differentiate, we probably should rewrite the function. So it's 4x plus 9x to the minus 1. So let's differentiate. So we have 4x differentiates to 4. Bring down the minus 1. 9 times minus 1 is minus 9. Knock 1 off the power. And then we want to make that less than 0. Now with all solving, we want to rewrite all negative powers as fractions. So we're going to rewrite this as 4. 
minus 9 over x squared is less than 0. And now we need to multiply through by denominators. But we always need to be careful when multiplying through by unknowns and dealing with inequalities. Because we know when we multiply through by numbers and there's inequalities involved, if your number is negative, it will flip the inequality. But we know x squared is always bigger than or equal to 0. But in our case, x can't even equal 0 because that would lead to f of x being undefined. Yeah, so for this function, x cannot equal 0. So we can times through by x squared, and that's fine. So we can times through by x squared, no problem. And the inequality will not change direction. So we're left with 4x squared. The x squared here will cancel. Minus 9 is less than 0. So we have a difference of 2 squares situation. So we have 4x, sorry, 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. And again, doing a little sketch here. So it's a symmetrical graph. We have minus 3 over 2 and we have 3 over 2. So our graph will look something like this. But this time we want to know when is it less than 0. Now it's less than 0 below the x-axis. So now you need to think which x values define the yellow highlight. Well, it's all of these x values define that yellow highlight. So we're going to say that the solution is x has to be between, so x has to be between minus 3 over 2 and 3 over 2. And that's our solution. So that's it, guys. This is how we apply the skills we've learned from differentiation to increasing and decreasing functions. Stay tuned for the next episode. We still are going to do more differentiation. It's a big topic. So if you learned anything today, please hit that like button and subscribe for more maths content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.